Well, hello everyone, and this is Peter Brown with a look at your weather for the next seven days. Now, here we are, hard to believe we are in the last week of January, and as we start out our period on Friday, we are going to be seeing temperatures that are going to be just about normal. So that's going to be a little bit different than what we've been seeing the past actually week or so, when we started out with those bone-chilling temperatures with the heavy snow and sleet, and then the heavy, heavy rain and the 60-degree weather we saw a couple of days ago. So a real roller coaster of a ride in terms of temps, but again, starting out a period right about where we should be. Unfortunately for those of us who like the warmer weather, that does mean our average highs are only in the mid-30s, and that's where it's going to be. So we're going to be, unfortunately, a long way away from these record highs of 57 that we've seen a couple of years ago here in the Burlington area. And as we get towards the end of the period, here we are already at the end of January, and our average highs, again, still stuck in the mid-30s, but unfortunately, when we get to this part of the week, it looks like we're going to be significantly lower than our average high temperatures. And I know that's not something a lot of you want to hear, but it's definitely a reality we're going to have to face. But of course, the one upside to all of this as we go further into the winter is the days are keep getting longer and longer. So we're getting a little bit more sunshine out there. Now, as we go ahead, I'm going to show you a little bit about what's going on with our precip and temps for the next 10 to 15 days in the Burlington area. And as you can see, up in our area here and across most of the northeast and all the way out into almost the northwest, looks like there's a chance for us to have above average precipitation. Now, that combined with some cold weather coming, of course, that might suggest that we could see a little bit more in the way of snow. However, as we go ahead into the middle of portion of the period at start of next week, doesn't look like we're going to see too much in the way of snow. But as we go ahead and take a look at what our expected temperatures are going to be for the next week or so, look at this almost the entire country is going to be seeing pretty high chances of below average temperatures. So unfortunately, us here in the New England area, in Burlington in particular, doesn't look like we're going to have any of those nice 50 and 60 degree temperatures like we saw the past day or so. So fortunately, if you want to go to where the warm weather is, you're going to have to head to California. Now as we go ahead, let me show you what the weather and temps are going to be looking like for the next seven days. And again, starting out on Friday, we might see maybe some light flurries if you're out early in the morning going to work on Friday as that big storm system departs our area. And again, temperatures about average in the mid-30s, but look at this at nighttime. Our temperatures are going to be going way down to about 10 degrees again, maybe even dropping into the single digits. Now, as we get into Saturday, start out our weekend, looks like we're going to have fairly pleasant conditions. It's going to be partly sunny, but it's going to be chilly out there, only in the high 20s. Now, as you can see on a map here, it looks like Almost every other day, we're going to see a chance of maybe some disturbances rolling through the Burlington area. That's why on Sunday, we have a chance of maybe some light snow, maybe mixed with rain showers and temperatures going up a little bit, back into the upper 30s to near 40. Monday, clearing out as you head back to work again. Again, temperatures going back down to near freezing. Now, as we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, we're going to see a series of maybe weak disturbances passing by to our south, and that might bring us a chance of some scattered rain and snow here in the Burlington area. Doesn't look right now like it's going to be anything plowable. Looks like it's going to be more than more like just a nuisance and maybe some wet and icy roads out there. But again, on Tuesday, temperatures back up into the upper 30s, so that supports the chances of some rain and maybe ending out with some snow on Wednesday. But as we get into Thursday, this is where the real heart of the cold is going to be. I don't think we're going to be making it too much above 12 degrees on Thursday. And as we go into late Thursday night, early Friday morning, look at those temps. Looking like we're going to be starting out next Friday morning below zero. So everyone, get out there, stay warm, and enjoy the weather.